Good evening, I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It's about 9 o'clock in the evening. We do have a large band of showers and thunderstorms all the way from eastern Arkansas into Tennessee, into Kentucky. Some areas in here picked up 2 to 3 inches of rain today, uh, training thunderstorms over the same area. They just keep moving over the same areas. Heavy rain, even some flooding reported. We look back here in Missouri, we see bands of snow, light snow, some moderate snow embedded. This orange color, that's sleet. Right now we've got freezing drizzle, freezing rain reported over southern Illinois, southeast Missouri. Some of this is a very fine freezing mist. Pavement temperatures are lagging behind actual air temperatures. In other words, for example, Williamson, Jackson County, temperatures are in the 20s, but road surfaces are still right above freezing. Now with that said, bridges and overpasses, they will freeze quicker. So you have to keep an eye on that. And as we move through tonight, temperatures will continue to fall probably into the lower teens over the Farmington area, Mount Vernon. You may be sitting at around 10 to 15 degrees by morning. Areas further south will drop into the upper teens and lower 20s. All of our area before it's over will go below freezing. Now there still remains some questions, very low confidence, and that's been the forecast all along. Very low confidence on how much frozen precipitation falls. My forecast has been just light amounts in Missouri and Illinois, maybe trace amounts of freezing rain, trace amounts of freezing drizzle, enough to glaze over sidewalks, uh, patios, decks, parking lots, etc. Maybe some snow on top of that later tonight, maybe dusting. Can roll out a little more than that. We'll see how it goes. Very low confidence on totals. As far as West Kentucky and Tennessee, this has been the big wild card today, extreme southern Illinois. Temperatures falling below freezing. But again, there's some lag in surface temperatures falling since we were in the 70s today. Freezing rain, sleet, maybe ending in snow later tonight over West Kentucky, West Tennessee. Do not have a lot of confidence in accumulation forecasts. Maybe a tenth of an inch of freezing rain. Trace amounts, enough to make a glaze on everything. Some accumulation of sleet and then maybe a little bit of snow on top of it. Nothing would surprise me tomorrow morning if, if some of you wake up to very little. Maybe a little bit of a glaze on everything. Some of you may have a little more than that. At this time, it does not look like a damaging ice storm. We will have gusty winds tonight. So a freezing rain later tonight does develop over Kentucky and Tennessee. We'll keep an eye on that. Even a tenth to two tenths of an inch of freezing rain could cause problems if you had 30 mile per hour wind gust or so. So that's the way it looks right now probably be the last video update of the night I'll take a look real quick look at temperatures here 27 in the uh, Carbondale Marion area a little bit colder to the north of there Farmington 23 still 34 33 34 at Paducah you can see the freezing line is somewhere right in this area here 30 in Poplar Bluff we'll keep an eye on this upper level energy moving in from the west probably have some light snow with that later tonight so not a big winter storm by any means but that was never the forecast but certainly tomorrow morning late tonight tomorrow morning you're going to have some icy spots on the decks bridges driveways roadways could be slick in the morning for sunday school you just have to get up and see how it is i'm watching another storm system been watching this for a month for around christmas christmas eve christmas day we have to keep an eye on that. Some of the models show heavy snow. Some of the models show heavy rain and thunderstorms. We don't really trust the models past a couple of days in this kind of pattern. Barely trust them in the 24-hour range over the last 24 hours. Never was supposed to be well into the 70s today, but it was. So a lot to go on over the coming week and 10 days. A lot of weather systems to monitor. I'm sure I will be busy, and you'll have a lot to monitor and uh, stay updated on. All right, have a safe evening and be careful out there, especially when you get out on the porches and all. It may look wet, but it could actually be a thin glaze of ice.